show you the process of dyeing your own wool. I've been hooking rugs for the last year and I was using, here's one that I did, Buck Choi. That was one of my first ones. I used secondhand store wool that I cut up and, but now I'm ready to try dyeing my own. I've mixed up six colors using this awesome book that I got from a lady that lives about an hour away. Her name's Ingrid Hieronymus. She has Ragtime Studios. She made this book herself. It shows how you can take these for three colors in black and make 56 different shades. These are the samples that come with, so you can decide what color you want to do. I picked these six, and as you can see, there's a number on it. So, for example, this one right here, Number 17, you mix these colors together to get this and all these different shades. I used, for spoons, I used these old McDonald's coffee spoons. It's one thirty-second of a teaspoon. So that's handy. Right here I've got my wool soaking. I've been using this stuff here, Rinse Aid. It's a wetting agent that will allow the dye to soak all the way through into the wool. So that's been soaking for about an hour. I've got 12 8 by 9 inch pieces in here. It's just natural wool. And right here I've got simmering 12 mason jars. I got them at the dollar store, so it was $4 for 6 and this roasting pan I just picked up at a secondhand store for three dollars. It has a rack underneath that I paid 75 cents for. I'm trying to save money here as you can tell. So they're simmering nicely so I can go and start adding the wool strips and the dyes now. Alright the wool is in there with the dye. It's uh, simmering slightly and you can see that the wool is already absorbing the dye. So I'm going to cover it and in 15 minutes add some citric acid. Okay, so I added the citric acid. I got this for $5 at Ragtime Studios. And it's better to use this, in my opinion, than vinegar. It's needed to set the color so it won't bleed. So it's crucial. And vinegar is a little stinky, and this stuff is clear and super easy to use. So I just put a half a teaspoon in per jar after 15 minutes. And now I'm going to let it simmer for an hour, I think. Well, I've only uh, been dyeing it now for 25 minutes, and the water's clear. I, I was going to do it for an hour, but why bother if it's already absorbed it all? Awesome. Rinsing these babies out. Look at these vibrant colors. Mmm. -mm. That's nice. This red. Wow. So I got two shades of everything. The same dye batch. Oh, look at that purple. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze these out and hang them on the line to dry. And here are the final results. We've got a red with a nice pink. I only went for two shades of, of the eight choices. So I think it turned out pretty good. This is a nice turquoise. Love that color. And then greens. You always need the greens. Blue's really vibrant. And some orange with a little bit of soft buttery yellow. And all from using this awesome book. So thanks Ingrid for writing this book. I was able to dye just following the instructions on here. 
Uh, her website is www.rughookinghome.com. So check it out. And you can die too.